asexual reproduction a kind of reproduction it is but how this is different from sexual reproduction that we need to understand asexual reproduction with the name only you people can understand only one parent is involved here right so a single parent is involved and this single parent uh, they will not have any kind of specific gender here right in those organism where you will not be able to find any separation in the gender in such kind of organism you will be able to see this kind of asexual reproduction so no gamete formation is going to take place if no gamete formation it means no fertilization will take place cell division will be involved in the process of asexual reproduction what kind of cell division mitosis so new generation which is going to take birth is going to be respond it is uh, taking birth because of a kind of cellular division only now this can be of several different type fission fragmentation budding vegetative propagation regeneration and spore formation because different different kind of organism they belong to different habitat and, and according to their body structure they will be able to show these many different type of asexual reproduction let us talk about it the first one fission fission means something which is going to split so when one organism is going to split or divide into two such type of asexual reproduction is known as fission binary fission and multiple fission these are the two type of fission bachcho so binary fission you will be able to see in the case of paramecium euglena amoeba leishmania one single organism will divide into two first they will divide their nucleus it means karyokinesis they will perform and after that cytokinesis second multiple fission one single organism will be able to divide into more than two organism or new generation daughter cells any word you people can use such type of fission is known as multiple fission can be easily found in plasmodium next is spore formation you will be able to see this in the case of fungi so here spores are going to be produced and these spores are very much light in weight they will be there inside a sporangium and whenever this sporangium is going to burst after the maturation of spore these spores will be able to travel in air and they will search for moist condition they will be able to germinate and they will produce new organism over there this is sporangium you can see and these are the uh, spores which are coming out in the case of fungi you will be able to see next type of asexual reproduction is fragmentation in fragmentation a single organism will be able to divide into some pieces piece means fragment only and each fragment will be able to develop into a new individual you can see in the case of spirogyra a single organism from a specific site from here from the septa only they will be able to divide and each fragment will be able to develop into a new individual this is fragmentation a kind of asexual reproduction then regeneration so regeneration means what when one organism accidentally if it is going to be cut it no so every piece of organism will be able to develop into a new individual in the case of planaria you will be able to find in hydra also if suppose if you are going to cut it no so both the part will be able to develop into a new individual not horizontal horizontal or la, longitudinal you can cut it from any side it will be able to grow lizard the growth of uh, the regrowth of or regeneration of tail in the case of lizard is not a example of asexual reproduction then budding you will be able to see in the case of yeast and hydra a bud will be able to grow over here this bud will increase in its size and whenever it will get mature this is going to detach from the parent body same the this new individual will also do after this vegetative propagation in this is going to occur naturally also and artificially also very important or precious method to grow more number of plant in short time duration 
it will be more effective for those plants also which will not be able to develop or which will not be able to grow seeds on them with the help of uh, vegetative parts like leaves stem and root you will be able to develop a new plant so leaves can be used root can also be used and stem as well right so natural vegetative is all, natural vegetative propagation is also there and artificial method is also there artificial in artificial method you will be able to find several different way uh, grafting cutting and layering will also be there right so these are the some type of asexual reproduction after this we also need to talk about tissue culture so tissue culture is what when you want to grow a new plant in a isolated medium or this can be performed in a lab, lab also in a synthetic medium you will be able to culture this plant right here you are going to nourish tissues of a plant which will be able to grow so this tissue culture can also be known as in vitro micropropagation because this is going to take place outside the body of parent and in an artificial medium it means somewhere in the lab this process can be performed over here you can see this is petri dish on the petri dish medium it means agar is there which is going to nourish the cells or tissues of this plant whenever these plants will grow you can transfer them in a isolated medium or where you want these are the some example or type of asexual reproduction which we have discussed